what, what, what to do, glorious gamers? It is your boy God here back again. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Welcome back to the channel, all you glorious people. So today we're gonna do another Ask God here. And I know I haven't done these in a while. Uh, so here goes another installment for you. I hope you've been looking forward to it, cause here it comes. Um, and today we're gonna talk a little bit about, not a little bit, we're gonna go kind of into it. Um, are gamers over hyping themselves? Now, some of you are like, Ooh, you know, that's a pretty easy answer, but we're gonna go ahead and talk about it anyway. So this uh, comes from, <clears throat> the division recently came out and it has been getting some subpar uh, reviews on Metacritic and on other sites. Um, I think on Steam as well, on the PC version, I think it's been hit the most with its negative reviews. And one of the big uh, reasons that some people are speculating that this is the case is because uh, of gamers over hyping themselves so you may know what i'm gonna what i think about this uh but let's go ahead and, and dig into it so um when it comes to the information that we have on games obviously all that comes from the publishers and the developers people who work on the game uh and where the, stu where the studio where the game comes from okay whether it's uh, T, whether it's you know commercials or uh, uh, better yet, you know the interviews that that these uh, look at the Activision quality. Oh yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's you know it's interviews and things like that, and uh, YouTubers who talk about uh, these games, um, and some of them who even actually talk to developers about these games. Um, so you know we we get for the most part we get this information from reliable places. Now there are those times when a YouTuber. Um, you know, says something on their channel that is speculation. For the most part, I've seen that the, the YouTubers nowadays are very good with saying, hey, this is speculation, or this is just what I think, or this is something I'd like to see. Um, I can't recall very many times where, uh, you know, a YouTuber puts out a video where it's nonsense and they don't disclaim it as complete and utter nonsense. Now, I could be wrong, okay? I haven't seen every single YouTube video regarding uh, every single game. So I'm sure you guys know some uh, some uh, people that uh, that do uh, betray trust, but I haven't seen that. I have not seen that. Um, like I said, we're really very good at saying this is speculation or whatever. So um, our information is coming from good good places. Okay. So now we get to what do certain things mean to certain people. I, I think that's the most logical step to, uh, after, you know, we identify that, you know, we do get information from good places. Um, and, you know, that's something that maybe can can be argued uh, a little bit, but um, not very much. You know, I, I'd say that uh, we gamers, for the most part, have our heads on reasonably and understand terms uh, from, from, you know, past, past games. Like, when I hear the term, um, it's an open world, okay? Um, I immediately think of Fallout, right? That's that's a game that had an open world. For the most part, you can go anywhere. I think we can all agree on that. Fallout, you can go anywhere, any cave, any building. Um, you can you can go there, right? And for the most, for, for, from what I remember, you can enter practically every building. Okay, so that's what I think of. So th that's the example that I hold the the uh, phrase "open world game" to, a Fallout game. Okay, that's what open world is to me. And um, I think that is what it is for a lot of people. Obviously, I can't say with certainty, but I think that the Fallout uh, uh, series has, you know, w most gamers would say, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's an example of an open world. I think so. If you disagree, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so we have these, you know, these developers saying words, and, and uh, obviously, and communicating to us and uh, from that point on, we think back, for the most part, we think back to other games that, uh, you know, that we exemplify, that we, that we use examples for those words. Like I gave Fallout for open world. For you, it may be another game, um, but you know, you can agree that Fallout is, is that, you know, it, it is a suitable example. So from then on now, right, I go and play the division, right? And I play the beta. And you know when I when I when I played the beta and when I was walking around, I found that it was not open world. Okay, I found that it was it was indeed not open world. Um, you can enter 90% of the buildings. You know, it was open world so long as you were on the street and on the sidewalk. 
okay? <laughs> there were some alleyways, um, you know, so, but, but for the most part, it, it was not truly open world, okay? Half of the, the map, I couldn't enter, the buildings is what I mean by that. So, you know, a lot of people always say, oh, it's just the beta, it's just the beta. And if I had went ahead and gotten the game because I believe that the assertion that, oh, it's just a beta. If you buy the, 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 the full game, it's going to be um, better. You know, they, they're going to give you access to those buildings or whatever. Um, that's, th that's a level of trust that the developers, as far as I know, did not give. Okay. So, there's, there's, the answer to the question is there's a delicate balance here. Because on the one hand, you have developers saying, hey, it's open world, you know. And, and these are examples. These are examples. Um, you know, I, I'm not saying this is this is what the uh, the uh, what, what what people overhyped, but this is just an example of of uh, a, a possible uh, somebody being overhyped about this. Now, so the developer said, yes, yeah, open world. Um, you know, you can go everywhere or whatever, um, and it was not the case. Okay, so I I played the beta and I saw that that was not the case. Now, if that was enough for me for it to turn me off to the game, then that should have been the end of it, right? But if I then, you know, start talking to people and I'm posting on, on, on and I see different comments on, on whatever site and different YouTubers saying whatever, um, and, and I believe that, oh, it's because it's the beta and, you know, because it's not the full game, they don't have that in the game, and I go and buy the game, then at that point, you can have a, a better argument to say I may have overhyped myself. Because, again, the developer never said we're going to, you know, uh, if you didn't see it in the beta, it's gonna it's gonna be in it's gonna be in the full release. That was something I chose to believe from somewhere else, wherever that that place may be. Um, so, you know, we, we when when we have a beta, we have a chance to see what the game is, especially if if the quote unquote beta is under four months away from the full release of the game. So if I play the beta and the full release is less than four months away, chances are reasonably chances are that that is exactly what the game will be they're gonna fix minor bugs or whatever but in terms of the uh you know basically what the game is you have played it okay uh if if, if the beta is uh if the actual game is less than four months away from the beta so at that point once i play a title I, you know, and, and again, it's under four months away from the beta. I know that that is what the game will be. And for me to believe that the game will change drastically in under four months, because video game development takes a long time, guys. It takes a long time, okay? And if you make a change, you have to be sure that the change is the way you want it to be, and there's no crazy bugs from that change, okay? It's, it's not, oh, you know, hey, let's put a whole new map in the game, uh, you know, no, in a week. That's, that no. It takes a long time, a very, very long time. These people have to be very meticulous in their work, and that's what we want. Um, so, yeah, at that point, you can start saying that the game is overhyped, you know what I mean? But in terms of believing what the developers say, in terms of believing what the publishers are saying, no. Whatever they say, right? So if they say it's open world and it's not 100% open world, or they don't give that caveat that, hey, you could do this and this and that. If they say, um, you know, unlimited customer, uh, um, unlimited uh, 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 avatar customization, um, but th that's not in the game, or you can only uh, customize, um, you know, the face, but you can't pick the skin color. You can't, you can't pick how big their nose is or whatever. You know what I mean? Then, then, these are things that that you can uh, reasonably be upset about. These are things that you can reasonably be hyped about, if and and be upset if it's not in the game. So I just I, th that's my take on it, right? But so it, and and again, if you go somewhere else and you get information from somewhere else, you know, saying this will be in the game or this will not be in the game, and you choose to believe that, and that's not backed up by any thing the developer actually said, you know, then yeah, you know, you may have overhyped yourself, but. Probably not, <laughs> to be honest. Probably not. Um, it's 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 very seldom that the consumer overhypes him or herself. Very seldom. Okay. Usually, what we what we believe is based off of the reality that was given to us uh, from a credible source. Uh, you know, with, with the internet, it's too it's too easy to fact check. 
it's fact checked. It's too easy to fact check and to make sure that that what you that what you're expecting is 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 actually coming. Um, for, for for the consumer to just be completely oblivious and have these wild uh, expectations and hopes, it's just it's just not plausible. You know, what I mean, it can happen, but it's not plausible. So that's what I think about it, guys. Let me know if that was clear. If uh, if you guys you know think something different, if you think I'm crazy, uh, if you think uh, you know I'm wrong as usual, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. I, I love to hear it. I love to see what's going on. Uh, it is your boy Godhead, and until next time, peoples, I'm out.